Hi, my Tauruses. It's Jamie Sieber 23. I am doing your weekly spread for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an, um, an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes, so be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Um, on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, and prosperity kits. Chris, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage. I have uh, protection bracelets and pendulums for divination and prophecy and lots more on the website, jamiezebra23.com. Okay, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers. This is what we've got going on. I feel like for some of you, you feel like you've taken a lot of losses. You're looking to like the past last year, and you're thinking to yourself... <laughs> You know, I kind of wish I would have played my cards a little differently because maybe then, um, you know, maybe things would have, would be better now. Maybe if I wouldn't have made certain choices, you know, it's a, it's a judgment call now. So I feel like <coughs> some of you are embroiled in some legal issues now um, that you can't get out of and you're not going to be able to get out of. And you're just praying to, to God that maybe, you know, things will turn out for the best or a miracle will happen. Miracles happen every day, so don't give up. I do feel like for some of you, it has to do with a relationship. You know, maybe at the time the relationship seemed so bad. Maybe it seemed like, you know, you were being suffocated in the relationship or maybe the person wasn't right for you. You, you, you weren't really attracted to them anymore. Whatever the situation was, some of you are realizing that, you know, I made a mistake. I should have just stayed with who I was with. They were incredible, but I just didn't see it. I don't know what was wrong with me. So I feel like for some of you, you might reach out to an ex to, to apologize. Reach out to family members or friendship, friends that you, you know, put the friendship through something pretty horrific. I feel like some of you really and truly want to make amends. But it might be too little too late for some of you. It's not too late. I also feel like some of you, um, maybe there's some selfish behaviors either coming from you or coming from someone else. And I feel like for some of you, somebody's realizing that they are being selfish, they have been selfish, they have been rude, they haven't been courteous. There's just some things that maybe somebody's looking at that maybe they didn't see before. I also feel like for some Tauruses, you're not going to put up with it anymore. For some, some of you, somebody's just being so horrible, so disrespectful, and you just don't want to have anything to do with them anymore. You know, you're not going to fight with them. You're just going to simply say, I'm not doing this anymore. And this could possibly have to do with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Just some immature energy that you just don't want to be involved with anymore. I also see for some of you, you might have to take somebody back to court because it's showing like a return to court. Um... I feel like this is like an ongoing thing. So this could be child support. This could be like a tenant that doesn't pay their rent. Like they pay their rent every two, you know, they'll pay it for two months good. And then for another two months, you got to fight them to pay the rent. It's just sort of like a revolving door of the same issue. Um, so I feel like for some of you, you might have to just stand your ground and simply evict somebody or have a zero tolerance. You know, if somebody doesn't pay their child support, you know, immediately do a warning instead of waiting three years or six months or wh however long you wait, you know, enforce it ASAP. I do feel like a lot of you, there's a, there's a metamorphosis going on with you. I feel like for some of you, you might've been like a pushover type of person or you were somebody that somebody could walk all over, but now you're sort of like pu putting out your sword saying, if you guys know what's good for you, you will stay back because I'm not having it. I feel like, yeah, a lot of you guys are just going to start building up a wall around you and um, if you see any kind of fuck boy or fuck girl shit, you're just you're gonna be like, you know what? I'm not having it. Lose my number, and that'll be that. You're 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 just gonna start blocking and deleting, blocking and deleting left and right. As soon as somebody shows you some, you know, f boy or f girl tendencies, you're out of the game. I do see that when it comes to a place to live, some of you in the next. I know this is a weekly spread, but in the next 20 days, it looks like some of you will be signing new leases. So for those of you that were looking for a place to move, it looks like it's working out well. I feel like for some of you, you might not get exactly the place that you want, but you will get a place that will work for you. Um, Taurus, I also feel like there's a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius person. There's two of them. One brand new and one that's from the past that's going to be trying to get your attention. I do feel like for a lot of you, there's brand new love coming in. It's going to be sort of like a love at first sight type deal. And it could be with both of these air signs or it could be with a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. 
or a fellow earth sign capricorn taurus or virgo um throughout this whole reading i've been trying to like push it back because i didn't want to accidentally say it but um gemini's energy is coming through really really strong so any of you that were dealing with a gemini or are about to deal with the gemini this week that energy is coming in very very strong i feel like this gemini can be pretty cold sometimes but i also feel like this person is very solid maybe this person is a police officer or a security guard or a security officer either way they're sort of militant um whether this is a man or a woman they sort of it's like my way or the highway you know you're going to do this my way or you're not or we're not going to do this at all there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it um with both butterflies on these both of these cards i do see that that if you're typically dealing with pushovers that's not what's coming your way. You're, you're going to have a drill sergeant, whether it's a man or a woman, or this could be you taking on that energy. If you were, if you were typically an agreeable person, like, okay, I can do that. Oh, I don't mind. Oh, sure. I'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do it. Absolutely. Right now. Sure. You're going to be changing. You're going to be like, how does this benefit me again? You know, sometimes in life tours, as most of you know, you can't, you know, you have to pull back. It's good to help people. It's good to think positive. But you can't be a doormat. There's got to be limitations because if there's no limitations, people will suck you dry. And that's just what it is. All right, Taurus. Um, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.